Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today I want to take you along. My husband and I work from home together. I homeschool both my children. This is just what a day at home looks like for us. eBay pays all of our bills and our lifestyle. It gives us a lot of time and freedom to be able to hang out with our kids and each other and just have a more relaxing, easygoing life. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Okay, this is my breakfast. Just have coffee, water, and this protein shake. I don't really eat much in the mornings anyway, so this is a good protein source and stuff and vitamins. Want to play with me now? Yeah, I already fed you. Lucas and Kyle are starting a Pokemon 151 set. They just started opening yesterday, and you want to show them what you've got? Yeah, okay. This is Nidoking. Um, we have Ninetales EX. Oh, and that's the golem we f my dad found. There's Mute too. Yeah, that's the Nido Key. Yesterday we found this Charizard. It's super cool. Kyle's doing the pictures. Doing the pictures. We do the same thing day in, day out. Pictures, yeah. listings, packages, yeah, sourcing. To. You Repeat. Do the same thing every day. <laughs> but it's only 9.30 and we're done with pictures. Yep. It would only take us like 15, 20 minutes to do the packages. But we're going to do that when we get back. Yeah, I guess we'll do packages whenever you're back for lunch. And sourcing 30, it just depends on the day. Like I could find 20 plus at the bins or I could find like five. So it, it just depends yeah. when we go out. It's true. So I've got my Bye. stuff for listings. So I just got a text message from my mailman saying that they're going to be picking up our packages in the morning. Usually they get here at 3 p.m. And he said it's going to be sometime in the morning because he had a sub. So doing his route. I'm going to run downstairs and start doing packages. Kyle's still out sourcing. So it's just going to be me. So let's do this. All right. These are our buckets from last yesterday so collect those for downstairs let's go okay so our packages we've got 697 dollars in sales 21 packages which is lower um because we shipped out in the afternoon yesterday so there's not as many so this is actually good this is in my favor i'm gonna do the 21 packages that's like a 33 dollar sale on average so let's get to packing and I'm going to be playing some killer rock music today. Let's go. Carhartt things that I gotta ship out together. Oh, they're so big. What the? I just wanna add that Kyle picked these up. I don't pick up huge things. What the heck? I don't have anything to put them in. Oh my gosh! Well, while I figure that out, I will get these out the door for the mailman to pick up and Kyle can do the big things when he gets home if I can't figure something out quickly. Guys, I barely made it. Oh my gosh. The mailman is literally right there. That's how close, oh my gosh, it was bright. That's uh, how close I was. So Kyle's gonna have to deliver that big, huge package to the post office later today. And hopefully that'll teach him a lesson to not pick up big stuff anymore. Also, don't mind all the toys. We're purging for a garage sale soon. Also, Lucas uh, chased the mailman and said, Mom, the mailman's here. So uh, I don't have a dog, but at least I got a Lucas. 
Okay, oh, cute. Hey, mama. You're brave, you're strong, you are called, you are loved, you have a destiny and a purpose. You are not alone. Brave Mama Co. So this is my friend's t-shirt line. Uh, I got the homeschool shirt. I'm so freaking excited for this. It says, go have an adventure, homeschool. So, yay, thanks Haley. I'm so excited. All right, so I've got packages done. Kids are playing. Um, I was supposed to be doing my listings during this time, but I did packages instead. Kyle is out sourcing right now. He's going to the Goodwill bins and then hitting a couple stores. I told him since I'm not able to go sourcing with him that he will just bring the items in and we can do a little thrift haul so you guys can see what he found. But I got to do my listings. I got to homeschool the kids. Um, what else do I have to do? I have to get lunch made. I honestly don't know what we're doing for lunch. It's just... Ever since I started doing YouTube and like being on Instagram and being social, I like my brain, man. It's like, I, oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. I want that. But I have to still do what I've been doing. So it's just like, I feel like I'm up in the air right now juggling. And I know this is just a season. And after I've been doing this for a little bit, then I'll get into my groove and then it'll be like nothing ever happened. But right now... <laughs> I feel so chaotic, uh, but things are still happening. Things are getting done. I'm going to do my listings, so let's get to work. I plug my phone in, and I download to the computer. Oh, okay, it's 11.31. I'm going to list 30 listings, and my goal is to get it done by 12. So I know I've gotten several of you saying, wow, Carrie, how are you so gosh dang fast? Well, I'm going to show you today. Just follow along. I, I, I'm not going to do a, a whole long series about this. I'm just going to do it and you guys grab what you can from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm on my store right now and I'm going to search. I have a pair of 550s. So I'm going to search 550 even medium because they're a medium wash. I'm going to pull, sell similar, remove the old photos, drag and drop the new photos. I'm going to check my measurements so these have shrunk so I'm listing them as 31, 30. That's so hard to do this with the camera right in the middle. Put the pictures in the order, 23, 40, there we go, that's the skew. Alright, so I'm listing these as 31, 90 and I'm just going through because everything is already preloaded. I just changed what I need to change. These were 33, 32, they now measure. 33, 30, double check that they're in the right order, save for later, delete, on to the next one. Next one, Brett. I don't have any listed, but I have one sold. Sell similar. Remove old, drag in new. This measures 32, 32, dark wash not fade in. Sometimes I have typos because they go a little too fast. It doesn't look like it's stretched, so. Okay, 23, 494. 32, 32. No stretch, dark wash. Is it low rise? Still low rise. No added notes. The price is the same. Save for later. Move on. And I have 30 listed. It's 12-12. It's 12-12 down here. Um, Kyle called me, so he distracted me. So, But anyway, I got 30 done in 40 minutes while being distracted with a phone call. So I could have probably done it 30 and 30, but whatever. We're here now. So I have all my drafts here because I said save for later. So I'm going to hit resume drafts up in the top corner. And then there are some that I need to price out accordingly. So I'm gonna go do that and then list them. So I just got done with my listings. Kyle is on his way home shortly. I'm going to actually make some breakfast um, for the kids and I because I haven't had breakfast in a little while, like breakfast food. And I kind of feel like eating some breakfast food. So how do you guys feel about like chocolate chip pancakes and bacon? Yeah. 
For lunch? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. But first, coffee time. Okay, so Lucas has requested cream cheese bagel with sausage and some eggs and a pancake as well. And Zoe's requested eggs, pancake, that's it. All right, and then I'm going to do a bagel, bacon, egg, cheese, biscuit, and now I gotta see what Kyle wants. Kyle just walked through the door with a massive pile. We'll go through that after lunch. Do you like my new jacket? Yeah. Kyle found all these in a pile over here. These are just like bread and butter. I'm not I'm gonna really talk about them. But we're gonna run through some that he did find that are worth noting. These are Polo Rotherin corduroy pants. Got some modern silver tab Levi's. Yeah, you can show me you're closer to the camera. Got some boot. And then he found some page men's jeans. What are they, the Linux? Yep. Linux. Got some Varric Polo Ralph Lauren jeans. So these, if you wanna ever figure out what style code the men's jeans are, sometimes they'll have them um, like in the zipper fly flap thing. And then other times it'll just be printed inside the pocket. Got some J Crew. Um, these jeans, like, this style can be good. What style is it? It's the 484. Yeah. It can be good by itself if you can get it cheaper. Uh, but what makes it more valuable is when you get it with the, how do you pronounce that? Kaihari? Or Ka no, Kahara? Kahara. Kaihara yeah. Japanese denim. You'll see it just on the inside of the pants. The other Japanese denim is Karabu. Yeah. And that's Kaihara. Okay, then we've got some BKE men jeans. They are the Tylers. Got some Bonobos jeans that are slim, but they're also, they have one of the tags, like they're still new at tags. Did you look up the Tomcat style for mother? No, let me look it up. E -e -e. Okay, good, 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 good. This is one of the things, this is a pair of mother pants. Really good brand, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a pair of mother, um, but not all styles are created equal. So you wanna check the style. This one's Tomcat, so Kyle just checked it. It's got good sell through and good price point. He said it's like 100% It's good. 50 to 60. Yeah, it's good because I picked them up without looking it up. So, yeah, you're supposed to check. Yeah, yeah it, you get used to not looking things up in the store. And then we got a pair of Frank and Eileen pants, women's. So what That's, did you say the comp was? This was your best find today, right? I didn't comp that one out specifically, but when we sold just like that, we sold for 150 Yeah, so Frank and Eileen stuff. We've sold a couple shirts as and, well. And it goes super fast. Yeah, it's yeah. like top dollar. Hi, cutie. Hi. You have a good day? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try this thing out. If you guys have cool stickers that you would want to send me, I am trying to collect some really cool stickers. This is my collection so far. Um, I'll share my P.O. box so you guys can send stuff. Um, send, some, send some happy mail for me. All right, so we got everything taken care of for work. Kyle's gonna go back to the bins. We might do a bonus round sourcing trip, even though we don't have to. Until then, I'm going to do a quick cleaning of the house and then I guess homeschool the kids.
All right, so <clears throat> the kids have finished up their Easter stuff and school. So I told them that they can do screens now. And so they're gonna watch some cartoons and play some games um, until Kyle gets home. And then we're gonna head out because I wanna get out of the house. I'm feeling like getting some boba. Maybe we'll do that. Um, and then I was supposed to be hanging out with my friend tonight. Uh, we hang out every Friday night or a Saturday night, just depending on the week. And unfortunately, she's not able to hang out this weekend. So pretty bummed about that. Um, maybe we'll fill it in doing something with the family instead. But I really look forward to my mom night out. But we'll have next week. Getting my mail from the post office. We're gonna go get some boba. And I don't know. I don't have any plans for today since I'm not hanging out with my friend. I feel feel kind of lost. Weird. Yeah. So we forgot to drop off the package that Kyle did. But I have my boba. Yay. I got a taro with no sugar added and it's super good. And we're gonna go get some taiyaki, which is like a dessert fish cake, Korean fish cake dessert. They're super cute. Uh, and then right next door is a Korean fried chicken place that also has Korean hot dogs. I'm excited to try this stuff. All right, I got a potato mozzarella Korean hot dog. It comes with ketchup and I think it said honey mustard. Oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. It's a behemoth. Oh my goodness. So that was mid. Oh, the best thing I ate. I wish the potatoes honestly had some seasoning on them. Are you guys ready for some taiyaki? Yeah. We yeah. need to get some. Yeah. Look at the fish. Mm -hmm. It's chocolate filled. We got the Nutella kind. I'm getting tired now, so I think what we're gonna do is head home, watch some anime, and do the video. I'll put the video together. Um, I wanted to say though that I am coming out with a YouTube series where I am going. There's a bug coming out with a YouTube series where I am going to go back to my grassroots and get back out there and start sourcing and building up a new eBay store. And I'm going to do it in a category that I have no prior knowledge in and um, I'm going to do it by myself. And I'm gonna show it for people who need to see somebody do this for encouragement, for inspiration. But my goal is to get this new store built up to where it's generating $3,000 profit every single month. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out if you're not subscribed. And if you like this video, give it a like so I know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.